So we're also going to add some balcony at one side. If we want to make something curved or general, we have the same function we're going to use. So the most uh, use, uh, used function is the straight component. However, if I go now and I'll switch back, so I'm working on uh, the beams. So I double click on the working area and now I can choose gray for the slabs. I don't want to influence them or delete them by mistake and choose red for the structural elements. If my element is on gray, we can see them, but we cannot select them. But it's also helping for the eyes if we don't see it uh, colored. So um, now I'm going to create some smaller beam that is curved on in this area. To do this, I'll go to downstem beam properties and here I'll choose let's say 0 0.27, 25, 0 0.25 and I can use curved component and just select to start from here, go to here and then I have to pick up a point through which I will extend the arch. So I select the initial point, the second point, one click here. And here I'll go to properties. I want it to be centered. So I'll choose it to be in the middle. So it's center with the other beam. So we have good anchorage. And here I can type a radius of the circle. So I'll say one and confirm it by enter. Actually, it's not, uh, if I say it's circular, then it's circular. So it will consider this as a diameter. If I wanted to have a different shape, I can even choose spline. So it's only for playing, but we can do like this. If we choose spline as option, we are able to do like this. So we can create also things like this. But I want just to keep this uh, circle. And then there is a problem on how to create the slab over this curved area because we use to click diagonally and escape to create a big slab but how we create on this is a bit different and the easiest way is like this we create a circle with a 2d we go to basic circle and here i choose circle based on three points or circle based on two points and radius diameter i select the outer edges and then another point on this area and uh, that's about it the only thing is uh, I want to make sure I also it's not a full circle so I will I undo uh, that option and say enter based on angle Delta so circle select this option circle based on two points in radius and this angle data uh, Delta angle select these points and now I have to go counterclockwise to create the circle. I'll create from this area to this area. So what I did was to create a 2D circle. Why I need this? To be able to generate the slab with a closed contour. So after creating this 2D circle, I will hit Control X or Cut and then switch to the plate. So I'll go to the slab drawing. I will make it on red to make sure this one is active and I will deactivate the structural elements because the automatic detection of contour is affected by 2D and by 3D elements. So this way I'm deactivating the structure, holding the slab and to be able to bring back that circle I would say Control alt v or Paste to Original Position. So I have the in clipboard, the 2D circle. And by hitting Control alt v or that Paste in uh, Original Position, I get this 2D circle. And the way I will create the slab is just by double right clicking on the slab to activate the function slab. And here, making sure that I have all area detection. In case you have it on gray, you have to make sure you have it polygonized elements on and it will work. So in this way, I created also the circle slab. 
I wanted to avoid seeing the beams because I would have had uh, to do three clicks, one in the inner side of the slab and two within the beams. I don't need the circle anymore, I can delete it. And this is a model here. And if we activate the structural elements, we will also have it uh, with the beams. There's a small con conflict here, we see, because we also maintained the grid system, we uh, have this problem. So I'll go back to slab. We have to complete this area. So double right click and click here to make sure it will activate this edge. So double right click and go in this area. It will complete this part. So because any line that is 2D or 3D will block the detection of the entire contour. Okay. And also it would be interesting to do another balcony that will have a variable height for the beam.